Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update April 20th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 675 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, the ingenious one with Chen Xiao and Rachel Mao is rumored to premiere soon. The upcoming movie Yesterday Once More with Arthur Chen and Zhou Ye responds to accusations of plagiarism. Zhao Liying and Kenny Lin talk about their experience working together for a second time. And Michelle Yeoh gets one heck of a homecoming in Malaysia. But first, here's what's recently premiered, three dramas for today and yesterday. Let's Tug It is a modern drama starring Chen Jingke and Yi Daqian. It premiered on April 18th. It follows a group of eight youngsters who are led by an unreliable coach as they compete in professional competitions. They suffer a devastating defeat in their first match and are ridiculed, thus beginning their Rise from the Ashes journey. Let's Tug It is slated for 24 episodes and is available on iQIYI with English subs. Then there's Love of Replica, a modern drama starring Chao Yuning and Yu Ye. It premiered earlier today. It follows a wealthy family's eldest daughter who wakes up from a coma and realizes she has lost her memory. She falls in love at first sight of her bodyguard who has a hidden agenda. Things get spicy when she finds out that she is not the family's daughter, but in fact, just someone who looks exactly like her. Love of Replica is slated for 16 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. Then there's the costume drama Fated to Love You. It stars Bao Han and Wu Mingjing and premiered earlier today as well. It follows a handsome noble played by Bao Han who is arranged to marry a general's daughter. However, she disappears before their wedding. He then marries her secret twin sister to find out the truth about her disappearance. Fated to Love You is slated for 38-minute episodes and is available on YouTube with auto-translated English subs. Additionally, The Legends of Changing Destiny is also now available on YouTube with auto-translated English subs. It is a fantasy costume drama starring Raymond Lam and Jiang Mengjie and which premiered on Yuku on April 13th. Raymond Lam is a mortal who time travels to the past and becomes the Monkey King. While there, he embarks on a journey that brings him face to face with gods and demons. The Legends of Changing Destiny is slated for 43 episodes. Before we get out of the drama premiere segment, I just want to mention two costume dramas that have rumored premiere dates. The first of which is The Ingenious One, starring Chen Xiao and Rachel Mao. It's rumored for an April 26th premiere. Yesterday, they shared a new coming soon trailer to wet fans' appetites. I found it intriguing. This is definitely one I'll check out. The other is Story of Kunning Palace, starring Bai Lu and Zhang Linghe. This one's rumored for a May 20th premiere. Dramas don't usually announce their premiere dates so far in advance, so we'll see how it pans out. I will update again on both these rumored dramas if and when they announce something official. And that's it for dramas and their premiere dates. Moving on, Going North and South has officially wrapped filming. I touched on this in my last episode, but yesterday the drama made it official. Nan Lai Bei Wang, literally translated as Going North and South, shared rap pictures of their cast led by Bai Jingting, Ding Yongtai, and Jina Jin. Filming for the drama commenced last November and went for 149 days, which is longer than most Chinese dramas usually go for. Lead actor Bai Jingting shared a batch of photos to mark the occasion. He wrote, At this station, it took 141 days to follow the 40-year life trajectory of policeman Wang Xing. Over the hills to four cities, feeling the warmth and coldness, there will be a farewell in the end. But the train has not stopped, and their story will continue. In Going North and South, which is set in the 70s, Bai Jingting plays a railway public security officer who battles criminals ranging from pickpockets to kidnappers. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, I have a film update. Yesterday Once More responds to accusations of plagiarism. Yesterday Once More stars Arthur Chen and Zhou Ye. Last month, the romance movie announced an April 28th premiere. 
However, on April 18th, the movie was accused of plagiarism. In a statement, Yishir Films claimed that Yesterday Once More plagiarized the 2004 film If Only, which stars Jennifer Love Hewitt and Paul Nichols. Yishir Films claimed that they owned the right to adapt If Only into a Chinese version, and were in fact preparing to produce it. Yishir Films tagged Wanda Pictures, the group behind Yesterday Once More, and attached a copy of their lawsuit, a statement from If Only's copyright holder, and a statement from If Only's scriptwriter Christina Welsh. In Welsh's statement, she said, I didn't want to believe such a thing could happen, but when I read the synopsis of the film, I was shocked by the undeniable and substantial similarities. Unfazed by the accusations, Yesterday Once More took to Weibo to say that their characters and story are all original, adding that, quote, false accusations are a huge detriment to the hard work and professional integrity of creators of original works, unquote. They maintained that the film would premiere on April 28th as scheduled. However, Yishir Films doubled down on their accusation and clapped back saying, Plagiarism is a huge detriment to the hard work and professional integrity of creators of original works. They also shared an elaborate side-by-side -side comparison of the two shows detailing the plot and character similarities. What we have is an old-fashioned war of words. Gotta say though that having seen the side-by-side -side comparisons and having read If Only and Yesterday Once More's synopses, it's hard not to see the similarities. That's it for film updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and today we begin with Cao Liying and Kenny Lin, stars of the highly anticipated costume drama The Legend of Shen Li. Legend of Shen Li is a reunion for the two 35-year-olds. They starred in the 2017 smash hit drama Princess Agents. Recently, they sat down to an interview and spoke about the filming of The Legend of Shen Li. The interview is actually available to view on YouTube, but no English subs at the moment. At first, they were asked to introduce each other's characters, and they did so with much laughter. You could sense a certain familiarity and chemistry between the two of them. Kenny said that Shen Li is a bold and heroic character who wants to be great. He added that Li Ying might look small, but there's a certain tenacity about her. Zhao Li Ying revealed that filming with Kenny this time was quite different, and that they did a lot of improvisation in every scene. Later, they were asked about their feelings about their second collaboration, to which they replied in quick succession, familiarity, old partners, chemistry. Cao Liying added that there were also many differences. Quote, Each of us had progressed in our own way. We had more interactions and exchanges than we did six years ago. Unquote. Towards the end, they did poses. Here is one of him taking a picture of her. And here is one of them flashing the peace sign. The Legend of Shen Li announced their wrap in November last year. More updates on it as they provide them. Before we get to our last segment, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now, whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. Alright, lastly for celebrity updates, Michelle Yeoh received one heck of a homecoming in Malaysia. That's according to media outlet 8 Days who reported it took her 35 minutes to walk a 200 meter long red carpet as there were too many fans asking for autographs and selfies. 60 year old Michelle had a fan meet at a shopping center in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia on April 18th. Thousands showed up. Here she is among the sea of autograph and photo seekers. It took her 35 minutes to walk the 200 meter long red carpet to the stage where she gave a speech. According to 8 Days, she greeted her fans in Cantonese, English, and Mandarin, and shared that the past 6 weeks since she won the Oscar have felt like a beautiful dream. And although it was raining, Michelle went out of the mall to meet fans who were waiting outside. 
Michelle also revealed that she hand-carried her Oscar instead of checking it in during her flight to Malaysia, as she was worried it would go missing. As to where she would be displaying her Oscar, Michelle said she has a friend who keeps both Oscars in the bathroom, but she won't be doing that. My guess is she was referring to Emma Thompson. In fact, quite a few Oscar winners keep their statue in the John. Kate Winslet and Susan Sarandon are a couple others. Michelle revealed that she was going to leave hers at her mother Janet's place and let her keep it for now. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Till the End of the Moon starring Leo Luo and Bai Lu. And the top TV drama was Nothing But You starring Leo Wu and Zhou Yutong. I think Till the End of the Moon is unshakable at the moment. Nothing But You already ended, so Infernal Affairs might give it a run for its money, but ultimately I think Nothing But You will hold on. So that's Till the End of the Moon and Nothing But You to remain champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Before I let you guys go, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with a dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.